Hello loves, it's Hills from the Blue Flame Apothecary. <laughs> we are just past the peak of the new moon. Jupiter is stationed and begun to kind of start the moon retrograde. There's the faintest sliver of the moon shifted into rebirth. And this video is going to be a little bit different <laughs> than, than some of my earlier and other videos. Mostly because I am feeling really called to talk about gritting and all the fun apothecary stuff and the nature and ritual of gritting with crystals and things like this. And Hmm. why I'm gritting at the moment that I'm gritting. There's a couple of things that are being activated and attuned behind me right now. One is a new cacao drink that is amazing. It's going to be so, so powerful and yummy. So, but before I get into what the cacao is, I wanted to talk about this particular moment that we're in, which is the emergence moment of the new moon. And this particular new moon, this Leo new moon, that is conjunct to Isis's asteroid and to Ceres's asteroid, that has Jupiter who is stationing and then moving retrograde, exactly trying. There are a lot of different ways and absolutely for you and for your crystals and for your practice, whatever feels the truest in any moment is what you should be doing. I cannot emphasize that enough. There are no, this is the only way, at least not in my feelings about this. There's the true way for your, what you particularly need. However, there are certain times and certain astrological events that can really, really amp up what it is that you are charging and the intent you're putting into something. This is one of those moments. So let's take a deep breath and start to move into the energy of it. The new moon peaked a couple of hours ago at 10.55 a.m. I'm recording this right now. A few hours later, it's just, just before 3.30, almost 4 in the Pacific time zone on the 28th of July. So the moon has shifted from the dark moon into void state and is just now starting to emerge. Again, there's the faintest crescent. It's called a waxing crescent. A waxing. It's, it's in that emergence phase, the rebirth phase of the moon. This is a great time. In general, if you're doing any kind of work with the new moon, that emergence phase is a really nice way to work. You can also work with the moment before the peak as it's that like dark moon phase into the peak and then into the emergence. Those are really powerful as well. And I do some work with that. Absolutely, there's things that are gridded. In this particular instance, however, we have the Leo new moon. Leo, I spoke about this energy in the, in the update that I did yesterday. It's that big hearted energy and creation. Very, very, very potent creation energy. And this particular new moon in Leo 
happens to be exactly conjunct to Isis's asteroid. Now, Isis is also all about creation energy, and it's very, very attuned to like high vibration and to emergence from the void state. So Isis, one of the stories of Isis is that, you know, when her partner Osiris was killed, she was able to bring him back to life and then, I was going to use the word fornicate, <laughs> and then they coupled and through that coupling, their son Horus was born. So not only did she bring someone back to life, she brought a new soul in through that action. So you can feel in that story the enormous potential of creation energy with Isis. Isis is also very attuned to the star Sirius. You could say that Isis's archetypal energy exists within the stellar dimension of Sirius. <laughs> so that it's con that she is conjunct the new moon in Leo as the Lionsgate portal is opened and we're moving through this new moon portal, that's really powerful, like creation energy, really powerful creation energy. And then you bring Ceres into the mix and Ceres is all about harvest and renewal and bringing in the new bountiful energy. It's, it's also like massive mother creation energy so that these two are conjunct and they are gonna remain conjunct all through the Lionsgate portal and this month of, of August where we have all of the des portal of destiny energy. So in and of itself, this energy would be amazing for any kind of intention work, manifestation work, bringing in new desires and and charging crystals setting intents doing any kind of spell work whatever it is that you're called to if it's you know dancing in a circle in a field this is a great time for that and then you add in that a very very powerful aries jupiter jupiter is currently in aries that rebirth energy, the first sign of the zodiac, mixing with the expanding energy of Jupiter. And in this time period, just after the peak of the new moon, when the, when the moon is re-emerging from the void, Jupiter stations, which means from our perspective here on Earth, it looks like Jupiter stopped moving. Now, this is not actually true scientifically. Jupiter constantly is in rotation. But because of the difference of time in our orbits around the sun, it looks like Jupiter has stopped moving. And then it will start to look as if Jupiter's moving backwards. And this is going to happen. This retrograde is going until the end of the year. Um, and we'll actually move Jupiter all the way back into Pisces. Um, before it's over <laughs> so there's this this like energy of birthing and rebirth and taking you back to what your what your dreams are what you what you desire and and how you can transcend Pisces energy is about transcend transcendence so you can kind of feel how we're, we're moving into this place right now of birthing the new in through going back and feeling what, what it is that we're desiring to transcend through that, through that rebirth. So as you can feel into these energies now, so Isis and Ceres. We've got new moon emerging 
call this rebirth and Jupiter expands everything that it comes into contact with and it's at its most powerful expanding abilities right now because of this stationary so it's like standing on a pinpoint and directing that energy can you start to feel now why I felt so called to do some apothecary gritting <laughs> during this portal this particular you know, I've been calling them portals within portals within portals energy is kind of the the best time we have all year to be doing any any kind of practices like this whatever it is that you're called to you know maybe you don't do crystal grids or apothecary stuff dancing fields maybe you write that it's a, an amazing time for for writing for dancing for whatever your creative pursuit is whatever you you wish to create in the world and as we move into the energy of the portal of destiny on the 31st and 1st of August and that's going to stay Isis and Ceres are staying conjunct in Leo on the date of the conjunction the moon's going to move over and be trying to that conjunction energy so you can feel this entire portal a portal that we're in over this next couple of weeks is huge amplified energy for whatever creation you are hoping to bring in you're wanting to birth you desire there's another thing that's happening with Jupiter which is it is in a very tight square with Venus and Lilith and the star Sirius in Cancer the way that this energy feels to me is Lilith and Venus are kind of in a heartfelt negotiation of what it means to be desirous and, and to be feminine. All these feminine capacities. And Sirius is bringing in and connecting to that Isis energy and the higher self and saying, we can elevate, we can expand what we what we desire we can expand what we desire and Jupiter's like I will help you see around that corner I will help you see around that corner and expand that energy and this is going to be actionable all throughout this week as well when I channel through new apothecary goodies and the members gift for portal members and I'll put links below so you can check out the shop and the membership options and it would be amazing to have you join in the in the blue flame apothecary members portal on patreon it's a really beautiful community and there's oracle readings and frequency meditations and live share circles and there is an exclusive members only monthly treat that comes in and it's channeled specifically for what we're working with for that month and some of it's gritting behind me right now <laughs> when you're feeling into or <laughs> when i am feeling into and and channeling through what are the crystals in this grid what is the what is the treat that's coming through I don't say I want to make a treat today what is it going to be it's more like I open up and I allow my higher self my guides my angels all of the all of the team that works with me to come in and be like hey you're really feeling bergamot right now I don't know why you're really feeling bergamot right now or ego me doesn't know why I'm feeling bergamot right now but it's just this like come in bergamot 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 
And then when something comes in like that, I'm like, okay, I need to open up. I need to open up and expand myself, expand my channel so that I can feel what it is that the bergamot wants to do. It's like some people will talk about ayahuasca this way, the plant talks to them and that's the way it feels. It's, it's almost as if the plants are actually speaking to me and saying, this is the combination that we want to come in and then I start to get the crystals that are going to be gridded and all of that good stuff. So in order to kind of highlight this, I'll, I'll share a bit about how this cacao, this drinking cacao came in. It started with Bergmont. Bergmont is very empowering and it's also very strong for manifestation, which is a huge portal that we're in right now. If you want to and long for something, this is the time to call it in, in whatever way you call things in for yourself that, that serves. And I'm not talking about little things. I'm talking about like the big soul truth. And this is one of the things that Bergmont resonates to. And I was like, oh yeah, Bergmont and Jupiter, Isis. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. What is the Bergmont doing? And I know that Bergmont is part of the August member's gift, which is why I had it on hand randomly. <laughs> but I didn't know it was going to be used in another way. <clears throat> And I was out on my meditation walk this morning and I was like, there's a cacao, there's a drinking cacao. And I was like, Bergmont and drinking cacao? Okay. Oh, Rishi mushroom powder. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling that. And it's, all, it's not here, it's here. I'm feeling it here. And, you know, it's coming through, of course, but it's not, I'm not getting all mentally about it, like why Rishi and why Cacao and why Bergamot. It's just, I let it flow through. It comes through and then I go and do the research and figure out why <laughs> these particular things are coming together. And for this particular, Bergmont, Vanilla, Muscovado, Rishi, Raw Cacao. It is to help ground and anchor through the immense amount of codes and electromagnetic activity that's happening right now. Rishi is very calming. Vanilla is and the muscovado are to allow a little sweetness in to kind of amp up the heart chakra. Amp up the heart chakra. You can feel reishi, it's that mushroom energy, right? So it's, it's not just grounding, but also like feeding into the entire network, the grid of, of Gaia, you know, mushrooms, they, they, they are how trees communicate with each other. They, that whole network underneath the ground that we can't see, that's the mushrooms. And this is, this is helping anchor you into that evermore. And cacao is expansive. expansive. It's got that caffeine as well, to, which, which can be grounding, but also very high frequency. <sighs> the crystals that came in are also in that same same feeling. It's you know smoky quartz with a little citrine in it. It's anchored with pyrite. There's black tourmaline. There's Herkimer diamond. Chiastolite, which is all about empowerment as well. It's got this cross on it. Very magical stone. Hmm. I actually 
created a time-lapse video of the creation of the grid and of the initial placing and activating of the cacao. And I'm going to connect it to the end of this video in case you'd like to watch that and really feel into, you know, for me, how, how this all flows. And I share this as, you know, you know, in case maybe you're curious what the fuck I do, how the hell I do this stuff. Um, but also to hopefully spark that inspiration in you because we are in such a massive portal right now of finding your truest self's calling, your soul calling, and anchoring it through. That's kind of what this cacao feels like it's it's templated with, and it's it's what we're all being offered right now. And it feels really important to not underemphasize that. It feels really important to just like spotlight that and say, this is the time you have been waiting for. There is no more playing small. There is no more, well, you know, maybe next week, maybe in next month, maybe next year. It is, it is next year. It is time. You have to simply say yes. Find the thing that lights you up. For me, it's sharing this stuff with you guys and making these amazing apothecary treats and sharing the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Oh my gosh. Whew, I am in love with the one-on-one -on -one sessions and everything that they bring through for the people who have had these one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and everything that it brings through for me too. I'm not... I'm not separate from them. They are also, you know, working my system. And if you're interested in something like that, there'll be a link below. But yes, so I, maybe I'm sharing this because I want you to see how much this fucking lights me up. The This finding of my true soul purpose right now in this moment to spark and help you be able to take that moment of, of heart sight to find what is your truth. What is your truth? What is, what is the thing that most, in the newsletter, the way that it came through, and I'm just gonna share this, and I think this is how we're gonna end, is, if there was no excuses, no kids, school, work, no other obligations that, that might give you an excuse to say, well, I don't, I, I just can't right now. If all of those were gone, what would you be doing in the world? And when you have that answer, then you can start to really open up and say, now, where's the how and the when? And I feel like the when is right the fuck now. <laughs> uh, I will share more about the August members gift and more about this cacao when it's done doing its, you know, tuning up. Um, it will be available in the shop uh, in the coming days. I'll share. I'll share more and more about about all of that. But yes, if you feel called to the members portal, please come join us. It, it's just it's such an amazing space. If you feel called to a one on one session, amazing. Sign up. I'll put links below. You can check out the Cosmic Light Drops update, which is my, my Lunar Cycle newsletter. Link will be below for that. All of the things will have links in the description. More than anything though, it's what is your calling? Where are you called to go? And 
it is with so much love and so much joy and so much and many gratitudes from all the dimensions that I witness you on your path. Thank you.